Don't just talk about it. Oh, Crocodile trying to do something. Look at that power. Oh, very, very nearly getting in underneath. Chaos to itself, but turn up and over. This is Chaos 2. You may remember Chaos 1 from the last war. This time, more lift, more thrust, better. Awesome yeah. flipper. Better than Cassius last year, they reckon. So, got a lot of living up to to do. I'm George Francis. This is Ian Swan, his son, Richard Swan. This is our robot, Chaos 2. Uh, it's two powerful motors to give it on each wheel and a high power gas pad flip up on the front. The great advantage of this is tremendous traction, um, sticks to the ground very well, and the flip up is awesome. It'll throw another robot clean into the air. Immediately, Chaos 2 came racing in on Crocodilatron. We're going to clap you in our jaws and gobble you up. Well, don't just talk about it. Oh, Crocodilatron, do something. Look at that power from Chaos 2 in that high pressure flat. And again, magnificent stuff. You can see the exhaust pouring out of the bottom of Crocodilatron. Look at this. This is a real weapon. One of the most powerful we've seen in Robot Wars. And it simply flipped Crocodilatron up and over. You're talking 85 kilos here, simply tossed up in the air like a broken twig. And that's a toothless crocodile now. Rolled on its back, gnashing away at thin air. It's all been a little bit of hot air from the Crocodilatron team. Oh, and now the Chaos 2 takes on Matilda, who spins in rage and I think has lost part of her chainsaw there. Look, you can see the actual chain just trailing away like some disgusting Matilda entrail. Ugh. Chaos 2 turns. About to take on the house robots again. This is Bash this time and shunt to the bottom of your picture. And there, taking some punishment in the corner from Dead Metal, Crocodilatron, for whom time is nigh, I'm afraid. In go the jaws, trying to clamp down on Dead Metal, cause some last late punishment. You can see the puncture marks actually on the bottom of Crocodilatron if you look closely. Meanwhile, look at this, Chaos 2 pinned against the arena walls by the two house robots. And Crocodilatron uh, going to the dentist. <laughs> well, they're enjoying it. The Milliard boy, Sam and Stephen. Perhaps they like going to the dentist. That's strange. Oh dear, Crocodilatron. Over and out. Chaos 2 goes through. Let's hear it for Chaos 2. It was stunning in the last round, in the last battle, so we're expecting great things. I don't know if it's more difficult for you, though, because you've got to keep up that pace. Yes. Yeah, yes. Exactly. You feeling all right? Yeah. Yeah, you're not. You're nervous. I can tell by the way you're swaying. And going... <laughs> we're young. Richard wants to go around the world saving endangered species. I wonder if his species of Chaos 2 will be endangered by the Sonic team. Robot ears, stand by. And there is their machine, Sonic. Chris Sherwood, and the youngsters Matthew and Tom, and Chaos 2. Three. George Francis, of course, at the controls with Ian One. Swan and son Richard. Activate. The team members. And a lot of admiring glances for Chaos 2 in the pits, and that's why immediately that huge, powerful flipper underneath Sonic. And again, this time flipping it back to life. A little bit of a wheelie from Sonic, pulling away with power and pace. It's got to stay clear of that flipper. This looks a hugely powerful weapon for Robot Wars. Sonic in all sorts of troubles. There's the wheelie again. Get away from Matilda. I'd love to see the Chaos 2 flipper against Matilda, you know, or any one of the house robots, but Sonic here, look at this. Oh, very, very nearly getting in underneath. Chaos to itself, but turn up and over again. Boop, up you go. So strong. Belly up for Sonic. And I don't think Chaos 2 will go in again to right it. They won't make that same mistake twice. This is shunt piercing the bottom of Sonic. And Chris Sherwood knows his Sonic machine is about to end its competitive life in Robot Wars. Into the pit. Cease. And George Francis, calm in victory. Well, 
Sonic goes boom, and the winner is Chaos 2. Come here, lads. Well, 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 the four favourites have gone out. It's a pretty strong position now. Fairly, but anything can happen, can't it? So yeah, as, as has been proved. Yeah. You were toying with him like a cat with a mouse. You flipped him over, then you flipped him back, then you flipped him over again. It was almost cruel to watch. It was cruel to watch the house robots have a go at him, wasn't it? That was nasty. Are you feeling lucky now? Are you feeling as though yeah. you can go all the way? Yeah, pretty confident, yeah. There's a few good robots still out there, but a lot of the good ones have gone, so... Better chance than before. You're through to round three. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Chaos 2! <laughs> David against Goliath here. Robotians. The big cheese, heavier, bigger. Three, Chaos 2, though. Two, Nippier. One. And with George Captain Francis Davis. at the controls, they're confident. The great lifting arm of the big cheese against the flipper of Chaos 2. And Roger Plant has steered the big cheese in underneath Chaos 2. Really, for the first time in this heat, in danger, Chaos 2. Look at the speed, though, up to 20 miles an hour. You see, just dancing around the big cheese, which is much more cumbersome. And up and over! How do you like your cheese? Uh, melted? A little bit of Welsh rabbit, perhaps? Up and over we go. And the hopes of the big cheese grated in these early moments. Ooh. Turned and tossed onto the barbecue fires. But of course, the big cheese comes again and once more underneath Chaos 2. And this time, rolling Chaos 2 up and over. Now we'll see what George Francis is made of. And there's the Shremek, the self writing mechanism. Such a feature in this series of Robot Wars. Up and over. They had it in the last wars with Chaos 1. And again, a hugely beneficial feature of Chaos 2, driving it underneath Big Cheese and flipping him up and over this side. And let me tell you, the Big Cheese weighs as much as an adult. That's the power of this little machine, Chaos 2, but look at this from the Big Cheese. Oh, trying, trying so hard to write itself in. Roger Plant can't quite turn the Big Cheese up and over. The wedge is up on its... Side and look, Chaos 2 senses victory because they know there's nothing more from the big cheese. And in comes Sir Killalot. And remember what Roger Plant said earlier on in the heat. He was capable of beating Sir Killalot, whose spies were out, told him, and this I'm afraid is what we call botribution. Robot style. Revenge for Killalot. Dumping the big cheese. On to the big flipper, but the big cheese sensed that was what was going to happen and got away. Now Sergeant Bash and Killalot in close attention. Look at the shredded side. The big cheese torn. Oh, great last ever though. The flip Bash up and over and Bash has lost his helmet. Oh, that's splendid stuff. The Big G is still capable of wonderful Wars Entertainment. You can see George Francis chuckling away there in the Chaos team as well. Brilliant final. Two tremendous robots. And Sergeant Bash is in bits and pieces. Well, what a fight, what a fight, what a fight. Big G's, it's cheese on toast and must be totally cheesed off. Chaos 2 through to the series semi-finals.